this training is going to take you step by step through sales order quick create which is the quickest way to create a sales order in Visco. The first thing you do from the main menu is select sales and purchases then from the sales menu on the left select sales orders the sales order menu is displayed you select sales order assign and this is where we start to create the sales order from scratch I'm going to type in a sales order number however your system may be configured to generate the sales order number in which case you won't need to type it in because the system will generate a number for you the next step is the customer name select the customer from the scan if your customer gave you a purchase order number you can type it in here the next step is to select the trader from the pick list. This is a pick list that is maintained in the system tables. There's a separate training video that shows you how to use the system tables in Visco. You can select a destination if required. And then the next section is the product section where you begin to add products to the sales order and each product will have a separate line on the sales order. The first thing we select is the item so click on scan in the item column and a list of items is displayed. Select the one you need from the list. The next column is the quantity column and the next is the unit of measure. This again is a pick list that you maintain the price per unit has come up by default because this product has a default product price however you can overwrite it and type in a different product the currency is another pick list and when all this information is correct click on update now we have our first line of product displayed and a second line has been generated in case we want to add a second product but we're going to go ahead and cancel the second line so now we have the sales order with one line of product the next thing we're going to do is select the ETD and the ETA dates we'll click on the select word and it brings up a calendar we pick the date we want from the calendar and then click on update we do the same thing for the ETA we click on the word select it brings up the calendar we pick the date we need and click on update so now we have our sales order we have our customer our ETD and ETA and our product moving down the sales order we get to the ship to address section by default the sales order will display the customers ship to address if we wanted to put in a different address we could click on scan here and it would pull up a list of addresses and we could pick the one we wanted but for this sales order we're going to go ahead with the default customer sales, sales ship to address and the next step is to click on assign now we're in the sales order preparation page the first tab we go to is the general information tab and this basically shows us the address that we've already selected but we can make changes here if need be the next tab is the price and payment terms tab we can add or update any of the information here if needed the next tab is the order remarks tab these order remarks will appear on the sales order document so there may be remarks for your customer the next tab is the lines tab and at this point we need to add a shipment to the line so we click here on the line number and open up the line and we're in this window here where we can add a shipment now for each line of product there needs to be at least one shipment so we click on add shipment and it brings up our first shipment of 100 pieces and it gives us the option to add a second shipment if need be we don't want to add a second shipment at this stage so we're going to cancel out of the second shipment line 
and now we have one shipment for a hundred pieces for our one line of product. Once we've done this we click on back to header level maintenance and we're back in the preparation window and we click on proceed and it's telling us that sales order 6789 has been updated. This means this sales order has been assigned, that is created, and it is now issued, which means it's ready to be matched against inventory, whether the inventory is in transit or whether it's in a warehouse. So let's take a look at the document. So we, we can type in our sales order number here if we if we have it. If we don't have it, or we can't remember it, we can click on scan and it will pull up a list of sales orders and we can say I think my sales order number contains 67 so we can click on sales order number contains type in 67, click on add filter and there's our sales order number we select it from the scan and now we can view the issued sales order document. So we select view issued sales order document and it displays the document for us. Now we can print it, we can email it or we can proceed or cancel. At this stage I'm going to cancel it and we now have our sales order number issued and ready to be matched to inventory. If you have any further questions you can contact support at VentureInformationSystem.com and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.